Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here in this video or any of the other videos that the divine wants you to see or hear. Thank you for being here. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I hope that you guys are well and having a beautiful day or night. So let's go ahead and take a few long deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you are feeling at this time. Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, I call upon you now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most High God, please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, please protect our energy, close the door on anything that's not in the, of the highest white light, and it kept the angels of protection around myself and the collective. Please and thank you. Ashe. Something is cloudy. They're showing me a dark and cloudy sky, okay? There's a lot of confusion, illusions. Um, they're showing me somebody looking at this. Somebody is paying attention to whatever this illusion is um, preoccupied with whatever this is and I feel like it is some type of illusion that someone else is placing over whoever I'm picking up on keep in mind this is general energy reading for the collective for entertainment purposes only it may not apply to you take only what resonates and leave the rest my disclaimer, I'm not a mental health professional, I'm not a doctor or a lawyer, financial advisor either, so please do seek professionals in those areas if you require that assistance, okay? This is heavy distraction energy, somebody's uh, really focused in on something. Let's see what's going on here. Holy Spirit. Holy angels, what should we be aware of? The divine matrix, okay? There's some type of illusion over someone, something looks... Healing, enticing. Okay. Holy Spirit, what should we be aware of? What should we be aware of? Ancestral wisdom, first card out. The ancestors are trying to give someone insight on something. We have community, okay? Luck and right timing, fortune's will. This is will, fortune, energy, okay? This is about some type of change that they're guiding you to, some type of destined occurrence that's going to happen concerning a community karma energy okay we have good luck here on the bottom of the deck and luck here so this could be karma and dharma ancestry again okay the ancestors are screaming at somebody here they want to give someone some type of truth about a community what else holy spirit okay we have this card, it says, 
resistance, but it was in the reverse. Okay. So there's someone connected with the community with resistance in the reverse. Someone is not resisting from a community. And at the bottom of the deck, we have bullseye and focus, okay? Someone has been targeted by some type of group. And the ancestors are wanting you to know something. But somebody here has their head in the clouds. Someone's not paying attention to what's happening. Someone is distracted. What else, Holy Spirit? worthiness okay i feel as though whoever you are either you or someone in the collective has some type of divine purpose some type of royal lineage something that is making these people want to focus on you okay what else holy spirit So divine feminine, okay? You could be a divine feminine. Don't have to be. It could be for a divine masculine. They're saying split. Okay, boundaries in the reverse. This is the problem I'm hearing, okay? You're not resisting from this community. You're not putting up boundaries. And the ancestors here want to let you know what's going on with the community. What they're doing. Okay. They want you to be reserved. Introvert energy. Disconnect set up boundaries okay these people are trying to create some type of loss for you to take from you in some type of way someone is plotting against you targeting you focused on you thank you holy spirit something you're doing has this group in overload stressed out you're causing disturbances okay this is how they feel. You're not aware of this, though. You're not paying attention. These people are protesting against you energetically. What's community? Tell us about this community. Oof. This could be someone in your family. Someone you consider family. And I also feel like the ancestors are, again, your family ancestors, spirit guides are trying to alert you. What else for community and family? Yeah, you're not hearing, you're not seeing, you're not paying attention to this community. The divine and your ancestors, spirit guides are trying to make you aware. Be mindful of your surroundings. Be mindful of the people around you. They're trying to... It's this target energy. Bullseye energy. They're trying to send something your way. Ancestors, what is the message, please? Trying to manipulate and control a situation. This group of people, they're working together, but the ancestors are working with you. The divine is working with you. Fear not, but they do want you to set boundaries and pay attention. Okay, what is fright? Okay, there is something that this community has witnessed that has them in fear. Okay, mental anguish. I feel like it's about your ancestors doing something to protect and save you. That someone in this community has witnessed. 
What is fright? Good news. Yeah, went right back to saving. Okay, so this is good news for you and bad news for them. And this is also very scary to them that you have angelic and ancestral protection. What else for this tree and ancestry? Okay, I'm hearing get grounded. You might need to connect with a tree or connect out in nature. Also, this is giving family tree energy. There's something about your lineage. What is this energy on tree, Holy Spirit? Marriage and real estate in the reverse. Perseverance. This could be someone you were married to or you shared a home with. What else for ancestry? Okay, sweetheart in the reverse. So there's somebody that you were closely connected to that cannot be trusted. This person is a snake. I'm hearing snake. This person could have tried to cause a lot of nightmares for you. This is somebody that you believe that you had a close alliance with. What's resistance in the reverse? Yeah, it's flipped over. Okay, so this is why you're not resisting. You you feel like you have an alliance with this person. <coughs> what else resistance for resistance in the reverse? Okay, accident in the reverse. You don't see this as a mishap. You don't see this as a mistake. You are attached, connected, okay? You have some type of vow to this connection and they're wanting you to, yeah, I went from vow to promise, okay? So this is like a commitment energy, but they're wanting you to set boundaries, okay? Something about illness, okay? So this person could have been trying to make you sick. This person could have been trying to make you mentally ill, uh, stress you out in some type of way, okay? And this person has made some type of dark commitment to do so. What is fortune's will, luck, and right timing? The divine is not going to compromise with whatever this is. This, this karma is coming. And that's why you need to set boundaries and move out of the way. Otherwise, you will be trapped in whatever karma is going to hit these people. What else for fortune's will? Wow. The divine is speaking. They're saying isolate go into introvert disconnect because this karma this tower this natural disaster is coming they don't want you to be there when it hits they want you to be in this introvert energy when it hits whoever these people are and whatever they've been doing is about to be exposed and they're about to trap themselves what is worthiness yeah we have blessings okay so you are, this is also a part of the good news and fright energy that these people have picked up on. They know that you are being guided to withdrawal and that there are blessings coming in for you that you are worthy of. Wherever you are, you have been doing the work. They're just saying ancestors are screaming at someone here to disconnect, to isolate, to go into hermit, to set these boundaries. Very, very, very important. Let's get a mindful message. Okay. They want something here first. Okay. Yeah. Spirit is trying to give somebody clarity here. They're speaking. They're wanting you to know what's going on. Holy Spirit. That's too many. Mm. 
we have worthy in the reverse. We just clarified worthiness and now we have worthy in the reverse. This community of people is not worthy of you or the blessings that are coming in for you. They do not want you to allow these people to share whatever this is that's coming in for you. Disconnect. Competition, okay? These people are trying to fight against you. They're not working for you, okay? You may have a lot of emotions for these people, okay? But they do not share in how you feel. They've been doing things in the background. Okay, available in fear. I am open, okay, in fear. I feel like this is what they don't want. You are allowing yourself to be open. This card is heavy. There's something about fear. Maybe fear of leaving someone behind. They want you to balance and clear your energy. They want you to set boundaries, okay? This is like you're just open. You're not in resistance in the reverse, okay? You're just too open. You're not seeing what's going on. Connect through meditation. Nurturing. Emotions. Heart, okay? This is all about love for these people. What else, Holy Spirit? King of Cups energy, freedom, okay? They want you to release, release yourself. What's I am open? They want me to clarify. I feel like this is the yeah, King of Cups right on the bottom. This is this heart energy. Open, receptive to love, to, to help, to give, okay? They're wanting you to be in King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy and set some strong boundaries. Look at this. Three of Swords. These people are going to have you in this heartbroken energy. What's I am open, Holy Spirit? Page of Earth, okay? This is about you not seeing the evidence of what these people have been doing. It's in the reverse, okay? release freedom let them go set boundaries okay holy spirit holy angels what is the advice for our loved one here creator of happiness I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness. It is not dependent on any outside source or individual. Therefore, it cannot be taken away. It can always be found within me, okay? So I don't know if you're somebody that feels that you have to have some type of connection to someone to be happy or whatever this is, but the divine is wanting you to focus on going within okay what else holy spirit one day at a time i'm hearing and pay close attention okay edge of greatness the universe is opening doors for me bringing opportunities my way i don't crumble at the edge of my greatness i take the opportunities that come and walk through the doors with confidence. This came out in reverse because they're saying that they're trying to open these doors for you, but you are not really being open to receive this. You're not paying attention. I started out saying there was like a, 
a dark sky with a lot of clouds, a lot of cloudiness, a lot of illusions and confusion. Okay, so definitely cleanse your energy so that you can be connected with your spirit guides and ancestors. They, they definitely have a lot of messages for you. Okay, and lastly, hold lightly and most importantly, I take the things and people that come into my life lightly, not holding on too tight so that when it comes time for them to go, they may go smoothly. This does not mean I love any less or not value, but that I am open to the changes of life. Okay. I love you, family. I really hope that this message has helped you. If so, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, join the family if you haven't already. Um, if you are in need of a personal reading or if you feel inclined to donate, which is always greatly appreciated, uh, my information for that is in the description box. If you uh, are in need of a meditation, which if you are resonating with this message, you definitely are, uh, check out the Lightworks goodie bag. They're free meditations I've just kind of compiled together for all of us to have easy ex access to cleanse our energy so that we can stay grounded, free and clear of any projections, all that good stuff. So feel free to check that out, but use your discernment on anything you choose to use. These are just suggestions that I uh, trust, but you have to be uh, discerning about what works for you, okay? I love you, family. Until next time, peace and blessings. Ashe.